Hi all, good morning after a long time. So today I will show you how you can create an SLO in Dynatrace, okay, using Terraform. So we have a Dynatrace, so Dynatrace already you people are aware of that. Okay, so, uh, so how you can, so SLO, right, service level objective. You can so I have so, shown you how you can configure using manually how you can configure through APIs. Okay, uh, today I will show you how you can create a Dynatrace in SLO. Okay, using Terraform. So first you need to understand that uh, some if you people are not aware of that what is Terraform, right? So Terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code software tool created by HashiCorp. Okay. So it allow user to define and provision data center infrastructures using high level configuration language, HashiCorp configuration language, okay? So, as, so in the Terraform, you have seen HCL. So don't think this is the HCL company, okay? So language, HashiCorp configuration language. Okay, so yeah, optionally you can use uh, JSON. So JSON you can con con uh, convert in the Terraform script, okay? So uh, Terraform helps, okay, in a helps, okay, to automate the deployment and life cycle of cloud resource across a wide range of providers while ensuring consistency and compliance, okay? So you can automate a lot of things using Terraform, okay? So in that, I will show you how you can do uh, configurations, uh, SLO you can configure in Dynatrace using Terraform. And on top of that, you can, a lot of configuration, you can do that dashboard, management zone, alert profile, synthetic monitoring. Most of the configuration that uh, you are doing is manually, right? From the Dynatrace UI, you can do it through Terraform, okay? So either you can use Terraform, you can use Monaco, you can use API, okay? So we have a few basic commands for Terraform, Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform validate, Terraform apply, okay? So these are the few commands we have. So, so Terraform init, right, is the first command. Should be done after writing or modifying your Terraform configuration file. So that configuration file extension should be tf, dot tf. So dot tf file, okay? So TF file should be there, okay? Once uh, it is initialized, then you need to Terraform plan. So this command, you should create an execution plan, okay? So perform a, a refresh, okay? So that uh, you need to do that. Then you need to do the Terraform validate. So whether all the configuration that you are trying to do that, whether it is correct or not, so it will pass. If success, then you can do for Terraform apply. So these are the a uh, few commands then Terraform de destroy a lot of things we have that I'm not going in depth, okay? So how you can create a SLO in Dynatrace using Terraform, okay? So I have, let me go to the Dynatrace portal and I have a Dynatrace, okay? So first thing you need to understand that we required a token, okay? So you need to require read and write permissions, okay? So make sure that when you create a Dynatrace SLO, not a SLO tokens, okay? You need a read and write SLO. So I have a, this SLO. So token I have copied, I have created. So you can go to your uh, apps, access token. Just you click on that. Okay, so you go here and just generate a token. So just you give SLO and just you type here SLO. So read, write, both is required, okay? And generate a token. So once your token is generated, okay? Now you need to write a, a script, right? So Terraform a script. So I have written one sample script, okay? So we have a provider.tf, okay? So here I will replace this. So I'll replace the token, okay? So token got replaced, then this is my uh, Dynatrace URL, okay? 
then OSS, right? So they have a Dynatest provider, okay, Teraphoda. So we have that documentation, so you can go to that. Okay, so this is your provider. If you open this, let them load. Okay, so you have a provider. Yeah. Okay, so here we have a provider. Use the provider, what is the version, all those things that you can do that, right? So you can, the so version is 1.5.0, okay? So I have already did that. So I let me go to my Visual Studio. So I have written a provider.tf file. So Terraform requires provider Dynatus OSS, okay? This one version is 1.49. 9.2 so you can do 1.50.0 okay and uh, provide a dynamic dt environment url and dt api token so in that directly i'm passing url and token this is not a best practice you can set this as an environment variable okay so you can do it you can go to your cmd and set this environment variable yeah you can uh, do here also environment variable and you can pass that uh, environment variable and uh, you can give that environment variable uh, details okay that you can also do that and just for sample one i'm creating and uh, passing this okay and then this is your and then slo.tf this is my uh, script okay terraform script to create a response time okay slo for uh, service service response time, service okay so i have given that uh, target is 90 warning i'm giving 95 it's threshold you can give time frame i'm giving one week minus one week and an additional configuration you want to do that you can also do it okay so just i'm keeping this as a so i'm trying to show you that whether it is working or not okay and then based on your requirement you can do that right so we have this script so we have a slo.tf so we have this tf extension and provider.tf so first what i will do is so earlier i already have tried so that is that you can just coming so when you do the terraform in it right it will be in a slice and will all those things okay and then you need to do that right so first time do that i will be doing that terraform in it so i'm initializing it so it got in the slides, okay? Terraform has been successful in the slides. Then what is the next command, okay? So next command is uh, Terraform plan. So done. Then what you need to do is Okay, now we need to do Terraform So we have done we have done that plan then we are, you need to do Terraform validate Validate Success configurations are whatever the configuration is valid configuration okay and then you do that data form apply so you see now you need to give the value either you want to give plan one to add the data form will perform as described only yes will accept the accept to approve so if you type yes it will approve. So apply complete resource one got added. Okay. So now if you go to the Dynatus portal and uh, just you go here, just you go SLO service level objective. You see, this service got created, okay? So just is a sample one, okay? Uh, we don't have any applications running, okay, over here. So if you go to setting page and check. 
So whether you are configuring so this is my booking service name. And this is my book name. Then this is your metric. 100 into successful. So we have a here percentage formula, right? So 100 into service errors are how many success count by total count, right? And then evaluation aggregate type service. So just I'm giving the service type. I'm not giving the service ID, service name, and main zone. So you can do the entities field selector filter, and then time frame, and then percentage. Okay. Once uh, once you you can evaluate to get configured. Okay. So that's it. Uh, this is the way you can do most of the configurations. Okay. In Dynatrace, uh, using Terraform. So either you want to create a management zone, you want to create a synthetic monitoring, you want to configure some alert profiles, yeah, you want to do some in the application, web application configuration, yeah, custom application configuration, yeah, you want to enable create some rules. Easily you can do that through Terraform, okay? So if you want to learn more about the Terraform, okay, uh, that configuration using Dynatis, feel free to reach out to me, okay? Uh, I, via emails, yeah, if you find my contact number, you can call me. Even now, uh, we used to provide our trainings, okay, and job supports on Dynatis, so feel free, to, feel, feel free to reach out to us, okay? Uh, that's it for this lecture, okay? We'll meet you in the next lecture. Thank you.